What is up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's Madden 25 gameplay, we're going to be using the Arizona Cardinals. My opponent has the Pittsburgh Steelers. Today's offensive playbook we're going to be using is the New York Giants offensive playbook. And also, we're going to be using the 44 uh, defensive playbook, or excuse me, the 4-3 defensive playbook, and focusing heavily on the 44 uh, defensive formation. Uh, these uh, Guys, these gameplays are just kind of something uh, I just want to show you guys some gameplay talk about the gameplay that's really all it is um, not gonna be a whole lot of in-depth you know walkthroughs uh, in these because um, that's what that is what scheme of the weeks for and so if you guys do want that then just check out our scheme of the week guides um, that we do every week we do every day uh, we post a video every day on scheme of the week so you can check that out um, if you guys are interested so that's what we're doing right now uh, Run, run. So two runs here by my opponent. Uh, probably a little bit too aggressive. I think he's got Felix Jones in the game. He does have Felix Jones in the game. So that's uh, tough out for the Cowboys when they lost him. I, I liked him a lot. So another run. Wow. My user skills are really bad right now. I haven't played Madden in forever. It's been like I only get to play like one game a day, anyways. All right. Me that okay now we're set up we should be able to lock up here <sighs> and he passes of course he does pick oh Carlos Dansby I need you to get that buddy so here we are facing a third and one uh, got a new defense I've been running on third and one really like it um, so you guys can let me know uh, what you think of it and we just hit the gaps and hope. Yep, that's kind of what it is there. Um, the idea is you just hit the gaps and, and hope that uh, he goes off here. Uh, and, oh my gosh, man. I hate that about the run free is you could just run into your lineman and they'll just guide you to where you need to go. I really like the show blitz look that 4-4 four four has. Ah, uh, let him get to the edge. See, that's the only problem, though, is if they get outside, you're kind of screwed uh, with that alignment look. So we're going to go back to the base. Alright. Alright. Still got to watch out for play action. A lot of guys like that this season. Uh, and that's exactly why right there. As I get burned over the top, I just called that. Gosh dang it, I even backed off the freaking coverage. Man, Plaxico Burst, too. Ew. That's the one thing, guys. This year, you know, I say baseline and press a lot, and I'm trying to get myself out of the habit. It's almost like I'm a, it's almost like I'm a smoker. i got to wean myself off of it because I'm so used to doing it. This year, you don't want to do that um, because of that right there. All right, so... Just like the last video, defense does not get off to a good start. Um, just been a little rusty lately. And that's just me jacking around with a kick return. Alright, let's get into the real offense here. Single back ace. Halfback zone weak. Best run, by far, not the best run, but one of the best runs in the game. Because it's versatile. A lot of things you can do with it. And I love the formation. There you see right there, you can swerve them. Um, I mean, it's just, we literally, I mean, every every game, we start out the same, single back ace, strat, uh, that zone weak, and then we go to the split giant, and we go half back slip screen. Every single time, never changes. Um, reason I don't change it is because it's a system. It works effectively. Uh, I mapped it out, so I just want to keep it that way until, until I feel like I need to mix it up. Now, obviously, if you're playing tournaments or whatever, um, you know, you may not be able to run the same thing every time, but... Playing head, online head-to-head, -head, it's, you know, just you come out, you run the zone weak, you run the screen, and then you run the base play, and that just kind of sets you up for later in the game. Now, honestly, in tournaments, I don't know. I, I don't know how I would play it, to be honest. It just depends kind of how the flow goes. I mean, they, they, there's some guys that would completely lock that up, that completely would lock this uh, little screen play up, but I haven't quite decided yet if I would, if I would do this the same way I do it in a uh, regular game. Just come out and run this, you know, the two plays back to back, and always, like it's almost always, it's almost in that sequence every time. Um, I don't know yet how I would play it. Um, I still like it a lot. I like this uh, philosophy here. That's good. My best player is out of the game. 
but I do like this a lot, and, and there's just a lot of things in this playbook you can do. Uh, and I like to play dumb on my first drive, just kind of throw some basic stuff, you know, a basic run, a basic screen, um, and then here I'm going to throw another screen. And the idea here is just to kind of fill out what he's running defensively so that I can get a better idea, so that I can better attack him later on in the game. This is basically the concept that we're trying to do here. So this screen is something I've been added, added to the playbook lately, motioning him out and then motioning him back. And you get that nice blocking uh, out of that FL screen, out of the shotgun, doubles weak. Uh, so we sprung two screens on him. first one went for seven, and the second one went for the house. Hopefully he doesn't quit here. If he does, we'll get you guys another game. Um, I don't know why he would quit here, though, because he's winning, actually. Uh, real quick, guys, if you would, do me a huge favor. MaddenTips.com just released their St. Louis Rams Offensive Playbook Guide. Please check that out. Uh, if you buy it through the Winner's Kit, if you're, if you're a member on the Winner's Kit, you always already have it accessed. If you buy it separate from the Winner's Kit, um, I think it's like 10 bucks, maybe. Uh, so definitely want to check that out. Really good content there. S. Gibbs uses that offensive scheme. And uh, just really good, really good stuff there from them. I just wanted to share that with you real quick before we got... Uh, too knee deep into this commentary, um, just because I felt like, you know, I, I feel like that they, they they put out some of the best guys in the business. I want to let you guys know when their products are on, so check that out if you guys have not already. All right, same same little script screen. Uh, I can't really say I can't really say anything in English right now, but that time he wasn't on or in the slip screen. You always looked at that first. You saw last in the last commentary. Hopefully, if I uploaded it, which I hope I did. Um, that I didn't actually do that. I just threw the stupid in or out, and my guy dropped it in the back of the end zone. Uh, real quick, um, for those of you who don't know, MaddenMoments.com. If you type that in, MaddenMoments.com, uh, or just you, or if you guys are subscribers of ZBoy365, he has some ebooks over there as well uh, for you to pick up. Would appreciate if you guys gave him a little support. Uh, I know he puts out some of the better content in the community as well, so definitely check him out. Alright, there we go. Now we're playing D. Alright. You have to mainly move them off. That's the only problem. Disguise cushion. Ah, oh, Ugly. Ugly. Little screen pass. That's so sick. Ugh. Sin. That was a super good blitz, too. I really like that, this pressure out of that show blitz look. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to figure out when I want to run it. That's kind of what the purpose of these games are for. Uh, these are lab games mostly, but still have some good good content. And definitely some good stuff for you to watch. Uh, there you just set the edge out of 4-4. <coughs> and that's what happens. Alright. Get down there. Disguise cushion for days. Uh, I need you to be better than that. Should have thought about that. I don't know what I was doing there. I idiot sometimes. This. Alright. Alright. Shoot, my line should not be spread. Set the edge. Dang it. That's what caused that run. The lineman, you don't ever want to... Well, you do, but just definitely not there. You don't spread your line in 4-4. Alright, here. Trying to gamble a little bit try and get a little bit of uh, maybe some kind of big play just a halfback dab okay that's fine and then the idea there was if he was going to go play action or something I was just going to light him up in the backfield so I don't know a lot of basic stuff from him so far heck on it stop mm. yeah just bad adjustments all around right now dang the only problem with dive zone blitz is it requires a lot of adjustments pre-snap. I mean, it doesn't require all, you know, it's not a ton of them, but it is enough that if they just came out and quick snap you, you could be potentially in trouble. Uh, because it is, there, there's five or six adjustments you have to make for the play to work properly. Um, there's a couple of miniature, ver like other versions of it where you could set it up quicker. Um, so, anywho, that's what we're doing right now. Just got to lock up here. I don't know why he keeps pausing the game either. That's really starting to get on my nerves. 
All right, this is going to be, yeah, we're going to send it here. I'm right, oh my gosh. Mmm, it was right there. Mmm, mmm. Fight! Get out there, Mateo! Man! Mmm. So, just some basic stuff right now from him. Not too much. I mean, and then again, you know, you don't have to do too much in this game, to be honest, to be successful offensively. So, right now we're just trying to kind of... We're just trying to uh, limit him to three, but... May not be able to do that. Uh, here, QB sneak D. Oh, shoot. Ah! Dang it, I accidentally pass committed on accident. I was try. I ran commit and then I pass committed. Uh, it was just a bad sequence. Right now, I'm just a, like two or three adjustments off of getting him. I mean, I was in the vicinity on that one play. And it just happened to just throw right through my guy, so... Part of it. <sighs> Just gotta make sure I keep scoring on offense, that's for sure. I haven't really quite figured out that show blitz look out of 4 4. I mean, it's pretty decent uh, in terms of how fast the pressure will come. Uh, the unfortunate part about that formation is it does not give you a whole lot of flexibility. I mean, you're, you're not really that strong against the run. You're in a bare front, but for some reason in the game this year, you rarely ever get a block shed. So, you know, it isn't that great against the run. Just to be, you know, just put it simply. Hmm. So, zone week again. I like to start him out with that. First play of every drive here. Um, no matter how much I get, it's still effective because it... Puts in the back of his head that on first down, I'm going to run every single time. And then later in the game, I'll just randomly, you know, if it be first play of second half or maybe off a turnover or something, I'll go right into a play-action pass. Typically, that gives me something. You know, typically, they're either run committing or whatever, so. And then this screen is just something to play dumb. I mean, it's not really anything that special, but it's very difficult to, to fully stop. Um... So that's why I like it so much. A lot of reads on it. Here he tries to user it. My man King doesn't have quite the speed that uh, the Bengals tight ends have, unfortunately. But they get the job done. Just needed a little bit more there from him. Third and nine. Now we're going to check down into our base play. Uh, and then we're going to go back to hitting him with a bunch of different screens. A bunch of different directions of the screens. Um, and that's what I really like about this playbook. You know, um, just a lot of good stuff in here. Alright, so coming out the slot trail. He hasn't seen it yet, so we should have success. Uh, Ellington, I need you to go ahead and break that tackle next time, buddy. Because now we're in a fourth and five. And your boy is not the best at converting fourth down and fives. Motion across. And we'll just take the first down. Uh, probably should have hit the slot trail route first on the last play, but... His user player was kind of in the way, so I didn't want to, you know, I mean, I, it was probably there, it just, you know, I just, I just wanted to play it safe, take the wheel, because I didn't want to throw picks early in the game, but, I don't understand this 2-3-5, two, two uh, a lot of people have been liking the 2-4-5, uh, I haven't really understood why, uh, Ellington's on the wrong route. But we'll go ahead and motion snap it anyway. We just put him on a flat right there. Oh, that was that was pretty nice. But unfortunately, they caught up with me. But uh, right there, we just put him on a flat route. Probably would have been better for the swing if he, you know, if we would have got him on the actual proper route there. Some minimal, some minimal mistakes so far this game. You know, and on defense, if you make minimal mistakes, they're going to put points on the board easily, um, no matter who you're playing. So definitely be aware of that. Real quick. If you're looking for more of a tips breakdown or more play-specific breakdowns, check out some of the other videos on my YouTube channel. We have a lot of content already up there for free. 
including Scheme of the Weeks, where we break down a defense and an offense every week, and also Blitz of the Day, where we break down different blitzes from different formations, different ways to create your own blitzes, and, and things like that. We also break down uh, different tips and tricks like the Peyton Manning offense, and also you know how to use run commit, how to use pass commit, different things like that to make you better at this game. So check that out, guys. Alright, Giant Slot Trail. Uh, should have a good read on this. Uh, comeback route. And there's Larry Fitzgerald being a monster on that side of the field. I haven't quite decided where I want him in this offense yet. That's kind of the one thing. A lot of different, you know, ideas of where he could be placed. I think the best spot for him is obviously in the slot trail route, but unfortunately, I haven't been ran running, running it. I haven't been running it a ton lately, so I haven't quite figured out. Because if you, you know, if you show slot trail, you want him to be in the same spot, but at the same time, you know, it's it's all, it's all just kind of basic, simple. So now he's starting to adjust to the screen on the on the right side. So that's gonna leave it in the back of my head to maybe hit him with the left side screen later on in the game. Uh, there's a screen out of the doubles week that goes to the left as well. And so I may, that's probably something I'm going to try to hit him with. Alright. And here we go with another screen pass. He's not honoring the in route, so we'll just take that. Um, and that's the thing about those that, that deep, deep in route. Kills man coverage, so if they're off man, you know, they need to have zones over there. So now we're going to go back to the base play. Uh, I don't. One of the things that I like doing on offense out of the Giants playbook now has such a grasp on it that I can hit you with a lot of different angles. So it's more or less of when I'm going to go to what play. There's a lot of plays. The formation tells you basically what I'm going to do, unfortunately, because you can't set your quicks up um, if you're playing a Virgin Gaming game. So that's the only problem with it. But again, you know, it's it's all it's all kind of base off so here we're going to do is we're going to hit him with the curl flat which is the same look as the fl screen that we usually run we're just going to run a completely different concept out of it so just kind of give him different looks here early on and i should have thrown an interception there uh comeback routes are getting a little touchy this year on how to throw them i do have some tips on that i will cover that soon uh, because a lot of people are, are having some trouble with comeback routes so here I kind of need a play that I haven't shown him yet. He kind of knows the slot trail when it's coming. So I'm going to check down into the the uh, what was originally going to be my base formation for this season. Uh, but just uh, just how effective the slot trail is. I think it's better than it was last year. Um, so now the slot wheel, what I like to do with this is I like to put Roberts on a drag, Ellington on a wheel, and the tight end either on a streak or a zig, or sometimes I'll even leave him on that little underneath route. And Carson Palmer is going to dot him up over top there to mock him Lloyd. But unfortunately, Michael Floyd's going to just go ahead and drop the ball. Um, so we're going to have to run. We're just going to have to go back to the slot trail. Uh, third and ten, your money play. you got to be your money play here. You know, cannot, uh, cannot put it in the hands of the slot wheel. Haven't had enough reps with it this season. Out route city. And we take it and we get that first down. I uh, wanted to keep the ball and bounce here because I want to run the ball at least twice uh, with the clock the position that we're in right now. Uh, we're in a decent position to take it in half. I believe we also get ball at half. That's horrible running right there. Um, so now I have to pass. Um, but the cool part about the slot trail is there's a lot of different region, uh, a lot of different areas where we can attack the defense. So he hasn't seen that pass yet. Flitch Gerald's not going to drop anything. So that was kind of one of the safest throws that I could have made in that situation. It was a really quick throw. We're going to check down into the single back and just take the halfback die right here. Very hard to stop this run uh, when you're in a dollar set. And now we're just going to take the clock down. So, okay, and he's going to take a timeout. That's what we wanted him to do. And now we can check down into our split giant, into our um, primary goal line play. The idea here is, you know, we're just going to punch it in. Throw the ball up. So first read's covered. Second read's covered. Third read, Fitzgerald. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and drop that for us. I was appreciate. I was hoping he would do that. Um, 
No, I'm just kidding. I was not hoping he would do that. So now it's time to check down into our uh, single back ace formation here. I'm going to check down into that zone weak. But I'm going to audible to the dive just because I feel like dive is very difficult to stop. But I want to make it obvious that I'm going to run the zone weak. So I'm going to do it the first time because I want to take clock with me. I'm not really trying to score here. So I'm trying to get tackled behind. There we go. That's perfect. Because now it's going to force him to take another timeout. It's going to give me third and goal. And it's also going to give me an opportunity to run the halfback dive. And just see how he defends that. Because I know that he knows that I like to run the zone weak. So now basically we're, we're in that mind game of are you going to run the zone weak? You're going to run the dive? You're going to run the stretch? You're going to run the pass? What are you going to do? And uh, he's going to be, unfortunately, he's going to have to see that we're going to run the ball up to right at the gut here. Um, I doubt a run commit middle because where we have been attacking him. So it should be wide open, and it is. In this situation here, uh, just going to just gonna take the point after touchdown attempt because we're already going to be up one. Up two does us no good. So... Uh, 15 to 14. We got 45 seconds left to go in the, in the first half. He's got one timeout. Plenty of time for him to get a score in this game, uh, especially with the way defense plays. So I am on my toes for that, but I am still feeling pretty confident that I can lock him down for the position that we're in right now. Just can't give up any big plays. I got to keep everything in front of me, and I, I got to at least make sure I hold him to three here. Seven is unacceptable here. So we're gonna start off with some heavy pressure. And the reason we're going to do that is, okay, so he's got five wide out. So the pressure's going to throw him off. Case on, LB. And, of course, one thing I wasn't, I was trying not to have happen, happens again because this game sucks. Ugh. So I have a feeling he's going to do the same thing. Okay, so that's fine. Just keep it in front of us. And now we're just playing for, for a turnover or a field goal here. So we're going to check down into two deep. I'm trying to get a pick on an out route or something. Pick. Oh, my gosh, Washington. You fudge. Wow. I can't, apply. I can't play any worse right now. Holy cow. Washington just, mmm, unacceptable, buddy. Come on. Uh, right there, I think he should have gone for two there. Going up six does him no good. But that's very unfortunate, guys. Oh, my gosh. Now I need a kick return here. I need to get, uh, I need to at least get three. This is really pathetic right now. Gameplay. Pathetic uh, defensive game management right there. Uh, but we do get a luck. We get bailed out with a nice kick return by Arenas. And it's going to set us up. To, uh, we probably got three plays here, and then we got to go. Uh, this is where we go to our, our deep play. Uh, the shotgun normal wing New York. We're going to try to hit this comeback Z post <coughs> over the middle. Or we're going to take the out route to, to Floyd. But the key here is uh, we, we need to get you know 20 yards down the field. And he's going to let us. Oh, my gosh. You've got to be kidding me, Carson Palmer. I passed let the ball inside. Inside. Oh, my gosh. Sound like a little girl. Gosh, dang. That pisses me off. The dang. Gone. All right. Oh, this time they stay with him on the streaks. That's really freaking stupid. All right. So, how do you stop deep streaks like that? Um, basically, what's happening is my corners are getting outran um, for no reason at all, just because the game sucks. Uh, because if you look at it, Pike Scale Burst is definitely not 90, you know, faster than Patrick Peterson. It's just the game sucks is all it is. And so, what I have to do. Wow, oh my gosh. Thanks for pushing me back 20 yards. But what I have to do is I have to be I have to be smart, but I also have to I still want to send pressure from that show blitz look because I can't just abandon that look. So I might just have to back it off manually, which is another setup which I don't like that about it, but that's part of the deal uh here. So there's that play action play like I said, first play is first play a half normally. And Larry Fitzgerald is just a monster. 
uh, hurdled him. Let's get in the end zone there. Uh, but very nice play by Fitz there. Uh, uh, in this situation, we just need to take our take our extra point. But definitely, definitely got to lock up on D. Can't believe my first drive I dropped a pick, second drive I gave up a deep bomb, third drive I'm standing right there, and it just had a guy right in the area, and he just doesn't react to the ball. That's Madden 25 for you. Uh, give me a hit stick. Oh, oh yes, get it, go. I I I I called that. I don't even know why Arizona's not even that good at hit sticking people, but they. I don't know. I've seen some people ran with Arizona in, in tournaments too. I don't know what's the deal with them. Uh, so we're at the 16 yard line. I have a play I like from there. Uh, and this is why you want to get in every play of your playbook. This giant slot up. Haven't broken it down yet. Uh, it's pretty good for about the 20 yard line and in. That's a little shot play towards the end zone. Is basically what we're trying to do here. Trying to burn him over the top here. He's going to be frustrated. Maybe blitz us. Yes, he does. Cover zero. Fitzgerald. User catch in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, pretty nice there. I might have to break that down. Uh, I didn't know it beat man that well. So now that we're up by eight or seven, we're going to try and get up by nine. So the next position, we can get up by 17. It's a basic idea of what we're doing here. And that was a dumb pass. That was a dumb pass. Golly, that was a dumb pass. <sighs> Carson. Gosh, dang it. Ellington is like a poor man's Darren Sproles. Like, no, he's not even that. I don't even know what he is. He's got 92 speed, but he can't break any tackles. He can't truck anybody. I don't really like the Saints, guys. I don't know. I feel like the Saints are really good for the defense and offense I run. But I still think Cowboys are probably the best for my team. Either the Cowboys or um, the Seahawks. Really not the Seahawks either, though. <sighs> Effing up my blitzes. I gotta get in that A-gap. It's too much of a setup sometimes. Alright, I need you to be there for me. Defense. So this is really good pressure for under center. Get their powers. Get their powers. That's my boy. That's my boy. All right, third and eight here. This is situational. Uh, we're gonna send heavy pressure again, um, but we're gonna do it from two man under. And we're just basically. <sighs> He held on to that? Are you kidding me? This is a really good goal line play, like short yardage play. And of course Powers doesn't even react to the ball. I did not call the sky's cushion. He should have been playing like a 10 yard hook route. Ridiculous guys. We're freaking ridiculous. Uh, so now we're probably going to get ran on. Take the ball off! Golly! Mm. Alright, probably going to be some running here. What I like to do to stop the run, if, if, if I don't know, you know, if it could be anything, is blitz those outside corners like so. That's just horrible user skill, because uh, I suck right now, but dang. But yeah, I like to blitz those outside corners. I lost my little muter, so I'm sure I sound fantastic through the mic. Mm. Bad game. Bad game so far. Hit stick's going to bail me out of this one, I think. Defense is, like, literally can't get anything right now in defense. No picks at all. I've been in position, like... 75 times, and then the problem is, is like when those hook routes don't play where I want them to freaking play. Arenas, you're garbage. What are you doing? I told you to spin, not do that weird move. <sighs> Tough game. Dang. Uh, so when you face someone like this, you get a lot of BS. You know, you have to. You have to lock up. You can't. You can't continue to worry about it. Uh, that was a dumb play call by me. I should have motion continued the motion over. I just messed up there. Just flat out messed up. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, let's check back down. Remember, guys, we were showing that screenplay. Um, so we're going to check out in this PA bubble. It's the same basic idea. Um, and it's just now we have a screen option to the left if we want to. So, really like that option. Because he, he's going to go over there and use it anyways. So now we can hit him to the left side. <laughs> Obviously, you can't hit him with our freaking... F A lot of BS this game. A lot of BS, buddy. Dang it. The idea was to hit the screen to the left and then run up the field, but unfortunately our guy didn't catch the ball. Alright. No, cover zero is not going to stop the giant slot trail, buddy. Probably could have actually hit him before that. It's just, I don't know, I didn't really feel the pressure. I mean, there was pressure, I knew it was coming, but at the same time, I felt like I had plenty of time to get the ball off it anyway, so. Same thing, he's putting a flat over there, which the flat's not going to do anything for you, buddy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pounding this real quick for a little bit. Uh, just like the re I like what I'm getting out of this formation. What he's trying to do is stop. It's not gonna get him very far. Um, and I can hit him in a lot of different areas. I don't even know where the pressure. I have to look at the pressure this time, see where it's coming from. But I think it's that a gap um, blitz, or that not a gap blitz, but the edge for Paulo Milo to come off the edge here out of a show blitz alignment. And see, that's probably the first call that he's had decent because he makes me hesitate a little bit. But again, the idea of slot trail is if I make the correct read, it's not really going to, you're not going to be able to stop me. So I can just continue to move it up on the field whenever I want. It's just basically, when do you do that? When do you show him that your play really is that good? Uh, and there, I just made the wrong read. We'll just take that and we'll just throw that away. And then we'll check out of the slot trail for a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, right there, what I was trying to get, um, I was trying to get the running back on that deep wheel. Unfortunately, I think I snapped the ball too quick um, because he was playing really aggressive, which is why I was trying to get the running back. And I just, uh, that was one where I had a read, and then I just, you know, just went with it. Didn't have anything else. And we'll just take that slip screen. Ballard, it's me. I'm number 8866 in the NFL. I wish I was. Alright. Check back down here. Uh, we're going to check down actually in the iPhone Pro Twins. And we're going to throw the HB lead draw at him. Just kind of right here. You at least want to give it a look. Carson. A lot of good things here. We've got this hitch corner. We're going to look to hit Fitzgerald. We got man coverage. Fitzgerald's route run is going to beat man coverage every time. Nice play, Fitz. One-on-one -on -one coverage to Fitz there. like to move him around, line him up in different positions. A lot of slot work for him. When you're using the Cardinals, you need to have a creative way to get Fitz the ball. And that's not a lie. That's, you know, because they could just triple cover Fitz and you'd be done. But with the way the slot trail works, you can't do that. Alright, we gotta lock up on D. Or we could get another hit stick fumble, whatever he wants to do. I got my kicker coming. I got my kicker coming. <clears throat> How to the freak did he do that? He went from like the 19 to the 31 on that spin move. Dang. Alright. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to just run some, some basic uh, concepts. And I don't know why my guy blitzed up the A-gap. He wasn't supposed to. He was in a zone. But for some reason, the game decided, let's screw Cody again. And uh, he went ahead and just showed up in the A-gap for no reason. Corner out. Kill him. Second and five here. Um, a lot of things he could do right here. Don't like this situation, really. Okay. Uh, we'll go. Unfortunately, here we're in the bat. We're not in the right play call. Pick. We called two men under there. Uh, 
the game called like something out of four three stack. We quick audible to the two man under. We ran the bear under alignment out of four three stack. Sent two way heat at him. Forced a big turnover. Now we're gonna go with that play action play again. And like I said I like to use these in different situations, but normally in that situation where I want to go for a knockout punch. So if I get a score here, we're gonna be in good situations. And there we go. Over top. Got him over top. Sleeping on that zone weak. That's a big time catch and run. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get in the end zone there. That's a pretty big time play right there by Floyd. And now we can start going for two. Trying to get that. Trying to get that two touchdown advantage. Alright. And looks like he's not ready. So we're going to quick snap him. Try to hit Fitz over top. That's a really nice little route there. That slot trail does not get covered very easily in the goal line. You have to kind of use it with the right pass lead. So that's something I'm working on right now as a little tip, uh, something to add on to the slot trail a little, uh, where you don't have to motion him, but just a half a step. And that can actually make a world of difference in your results. So now we just got to lock him up. One more lock up. Game's probably over here. So now I have a feeling he's going to be pretty aggressive. So basic. Basic concepts here. Play action here. And he was going to throw that in route. I was sitting on that. Contain's going to contain that rollout. That's why you use contains. Um, they also play the flats really well. And we need to wrap up there. Nice big time tackle. Big time tackle. Now we can send heavy pressure. Pick the ball off Washington. He's like an 86 overall. It's going to be a really good play. You're going to you should see double edge pressure. And they're all sitting right there, but they don't react because this game sucks. Uh, right now he's running that quick hike offense, so I have to focus on adjusting. Got my play is set up in here. And we should see passive pressure off the left edge. Me using the middle here, going to jump on that slant. Uh, that contain will sometimes pick that. That's why I don't really worry about that that much. Uh, because the contain will sometimes jump that, so I just kind of leave it out there. Uh, leave, I leave that flat zone tender. Um, so, my defense is dog tired. Alright, so here we're going to send pressure off of the right. And he was looking for that deep end. I was sitting on that, didn't have anything else. Alright, here we're going to send it. We have plenty of time now to set up the yellows. i got to get down in the A-gap, though. Alright, I'm down there. This should be a really nice fast blitz. we got good coverage on this thing. And that's basically what we were just trying to... We were just trying to... Trying to see if he would do that. Uh, obviously, we didn't want him to, but... If he did, it wasn't going to be the end of the world. And here I gotta get down there. Uh, and there's the fast pressure. That's what I'm saying. Pressure comes as a fast. If you don't have your first read, you're sacked. I mean, that's just what it is. So I like to send that a lot. That's why I like that blitz a lot. Uh, the unfortunate part about it is it's not the best coverage. Has it does have decent, but it can get beat really deep. There's a screen I have a contain all over that. And that's why I really like that as my base play. Need to get down in the A-gap. He's probably going to snap before I can get down there. Okay, luckily he didn't. Got the skies cushion on. I'm all over that. And Darryl Washington drops another interception. But that's pretty good defense right there. Uh, you're sending two-way pressure. You got the yellows there for the... Uh, uh, I did not mean to call a dollar. 3 2 for cover 4. Just hopefully he doesn't get the first down here. 
And luckily he didn't get the first down, so we get the ball. That's going to wrap up the game. He's probably going to quit here. If he doesn't quit, which I hope he doesn't, we'll show you some more uh, gameplay. But that was a same idea I would have done at a 4-4. I just know the dollar three six good enough to send, know how to send two-way pressure. So set up a quick two-way out of cover four. Luckily it worked. I uh, still had a pretty light, wide open lane. If he you know, maybe broke a tackle, we could be talking a different game right now. But uh, no lie, the uh, two-man under show blitz look really saved me there, that man mix-up. And you guys have seen, guys, a lot of times uh, in my gameplays, the, the, you know, the one or two times I go to man a game uh, can actually really turn out to be that one or two times a game where I get that big interception. So don't doubt the uh, two-man under, but definitely you want to save it. It's one of those coverages where you want to save it. Right now, this is just slot trail. A uh, lot of slot trail here to close the game. This is that drive that, you know, you just lock up. You, you take it down the field, and you know. You know you got to get a touchdown, and you know you got your giant slot trail working for you. Uh, no user control over the top means I could hit that post all day. Easy read. Got an injury there, unfortunately. We get the ball at the 16-yard line, and we're going to punch it in for six here. That's the idea. Uh, we're not trying to take it slow on him. We're not trying to do anything. We're just trying to get down, get sick, get our six, seal the game, and then get him the ball so he can start throwing it up, throwing picks. Halfback base here hasn't seen it all game. Usually, and there I had a lot more room, but usually when people see the halfback base, they typically start um, really realizing how effective this playbook is because the base, the halfback base is by far one of the better runs in the game. This year, which I had no idea it was that good until I just ran it a couple times in a random game. And I uh, happened to be pretty successful. And then I started to look at it. I was like, man, they get some really freakishly good blocking on this run. Which, I mean, obviously, that's Madden 25 for you. They get really good blocking on every run. And like I said here, you know, you're just trying to get down. Get your points on the board. Uh, you know, you're not trying to go slow. Obviously, you don't want to throw an interception. But you have a two-possession lead with three minutes to go. You're just trying to get the ball down and get more points on the board. Because... You, you know, now you have the opportunity to start playing some really good defense because he has to throw. So that's the idea there. So it didn't start off too well, but... And, I mean, 28 points, I'm definitely not proud of that, but that's still decent. The hit stick is what turned the game around for me, though. Definitely turned the game around. That big hit stick fumble. All right, let's see if we can get the ball off. That's the idea. Just kind of see how many people he's blocking. I'm all over that tight end. Pick. Washington finally holds onto the ball. Uh, can we get it back? Nope. So right, that's what I'm saying. Like right now, he just has to throw the ball up. He doesn't have the threat of the run to kind of hold me down. So his, you know, deep live streaks are not going to be there. So now he's probably going to quit. Um. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If he does, well, he may not quit. We'll just wait. But uh, that's the idea there. At this point in the game, you're not going to, you know, he's not going to lob streak you because of the fact that he knows that's going to be covered. And even if he tried to, I would have been there. I mean, he wants to concede, but I want to give you guys some gameplay. But anyway, uh, you know, that's the idea right now is now we just got him in that really, really difficult, you know, no, almost no-win situation for him right now because no matter what he does... He can't slow down the giant slot trail because he doesn't have the proper defense. He just hasn't shown me he can stop it yet. Uh, he's had one one play, I think, where he really made me hesitate with the slot trail. Um, and so that's why we're taking advantage of it and really, really, really throwing the ball a lot here. Uh, thank you, Hausler, for dropping the ball, buddy. Um, that right there was just a mix-up. You're trying to, you know, a lot of times, and you'll see this throughout uh, the game plays that are to come, and, and maybe some of the gameplays were prior, but, you know, having just that slip screen is not good enough for a full scheme. So what I do is I add a couple plays from the gun empty, because, really, I mean, you're in a gun empty formation, so you might as well just add a couple plays. And he had no idea that that was a deep post route to Brown, and that's just very, very difficult right there for him to guard that, because he hasn't seen it all game. And so that's kind of like I said, you know, 
You have the the uh, trip side MPA slot corner. You have the shotgun five wide. A couple plays out of that five wide I like. Actually, I just love the formation too. And then you have the split with the, the play action and, of course, the screen. A lot of different avenues we can hit you with that. And then, not to mention our standard giant slot trail, you know, New York wheel, all sorts of different things we can hit you with this playbook. Uh, it's just a lot to guard. Very difficult to guard it, and if you can't stop the giant such trail, you're in for a long day because that allows me to, because then you have to overplay to it. All right, so here's that five wide. Uh, just got to make sure that. Oh, it's offsides. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And of course, he got me over the top. I was offsides there. Dang it. The only problem with this uh, show blitz look out of the uh, 44 is that it makes them bump up at the line of scrimmage. And I really don't want them to press. Uh, let's see what this cover... I haven't ran this at all yet. We'll just see what the cover one does for the press. Oh, that's nice. I can just individually back them up. That's good. That's money. That is money. Oh, that's horrible D, but that's money. Because now what I can do is... And we need to check on that from the dog zone because now I can run the show blitz whenever I want to. Okay, so it doesn't work out as well. That's the only problem with it. There's some A-gap for you guys. Uh, that's coming soon on a blitz of the day, but unfortunately he dotted me, but you saw the A-gap come through. Uh, it's an A-gap similar to the way it would come through last year. It's not a DT or a center A-gap. It's different, but still working. Put the finishing touch on that. I haven't quite... Haven't quite got that to where I want it to be. 100% successful. It's like 85, 86%. There's your quick toss. There we go. Well, we needed that. That's a big stop. Um, now we got him. Now we got him. He's going to throw it here. Uh, he's going to throw it to that slot. Mm. Mm. Pressure's so hot. That's sick. Love that. Love that. So right there, basically the idea uh, for that is the fact that he, okay, goal line, I feel QB sneak here, or not QB sneak, but uh, play action play. Nope, straight to halfback dive, not going to ha not gonna happen on third and goal, not going to happen, buddy. No way, out of that look, that's just not a good look for that dive, buddy. Alright, so I'm going to have to call T.O. because unfortunately the game effed me up and made me call a stupid play. I hate when that happens. Just take game flow out of the game. It's really annoying. <sighs> okay. Two ready back. Two wide. I really like this set uh, for the two deep blitz. Get over there, get over there. Strong pro. Oh my gosh, that's garbage. That's garbage. That is a garbage TD. Mm. I should have been all over that. I don't know what I was doing there. I mean, well, I mean, the yellow should have been, but the problem was I ran the wrong version of the yellow. I ran the, uh... Th there's two different types of yellow zones. This is what I should have ran. You see how they're flaring out? I think that'll get on that. Oh, I guess it doesn't. I lied. Okay, so that's just a money play. That's cool. Um, but the idea there, you know, basically you're just going to send six underneath, two cover, two sell. You got, you know, four guys in coverage and, and your user player. The idea is you're just trying to get the out. And this guy's a different attack. Normally people don't go to the outside. Normally they'll go back to slants, quick slants, quick, quick drag, stuff like that underneath. In the red zone or in, inside the five, this guy's a little different. Um, he hasn't had enough red zone opportunities for me to realize that. It's very tough to play defense in the red zone, and I'm making a lot of excuses for myself, but I can do that because I got 57 points on the board. Uh, unfortunately, though, the defense gave up 36, which I'm not too happy about. But part of it was because I didn't understand that um, backed off coverage aspect of that cover one, so that's going to be nice to have now. Um, moving forward, that will be good because I needed to learn that. That was a weakness of the defense I didn't even know was there. So that's why sometimes playing... That's why sometimes, you know, giving up some stuff is is good thing because then you can kind of figure out where you're weak and that kind of thing, so... And Fitzgerald puts the ball on the turf. 
think that is a, uh, I think that'll be overturned, though. Normally, that's an overturned call. Yeah, that's overturned. All right, 122 left. If I wanted to, I could clock him out. Unfortunately, guys, I really don't want to do that to him. I feel like that wouldn't be right. I feel like he wouldn't be getting justice uh, because of the fact that I dropped, like, three picks. So we are going to run our offense and just let it be our, let it be our offense. Right there, that's a good user play. I thought I could get the first. Um, thought I could just sneak it in for a yard. And all that is, guys, is, is it just a uh, motion circle or a motion B in uh, to the inside, and then I put him on a flat route, and then I snap it before he stops, before he gets all the way across. What I like to do is hot route him before, and then after. That way the quarterback's hands doesn't move a lot. And it's just a good little natty flat route. That's all it is. And it's very effective, in my opinion. It beats man-to-man -man coverage as well. Uh, for a quick three yards if you're wanting to take that. And, and that's what this this formation is just a, a natty formation in of itself. Sometimes when he gets that animation, you have to let him go across. And then back across. And then back across again. And then you snap right there. And you just throw. And it's just a natty route. That's all it is. It's not anything special. But it is very frustrating for someone to have to defend it. So I add that to the screen pass is basically what I do. Uh, you guys haven't seen this all game. PA slot corner of the shotgun trips tight end. Haven't ran it yet, uh, but let's take a look at this. So what I do is I put the tight end in the backfield on a swing pass motion out to the right. Snap before he sets. I look to the left to see if it's zone. It is zone. So I know that I'm going to have that user catch. Unfortunately, he drops it, but that's the idea there. Uh, so a good look there. Just wanted to show you guys that uh, route combination if you guys want to check it out later. Remember I told you guys earlier in the game <coughs> that this play, Giant Slide Up, pretty effective. It's like an out-and-up type of thing to Fitzgerald. Does a really good job at beating zone. Uh, with a pass lead to the left, you see they, they just don't go there. So I like to lob it to the left. For some reason, it's open all the time. That's just what I do. <sighs> Make plays where they, they're not even defenses for. So I'm going to go onside kick here. Try to get a 70 burger. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that to him. But I am kind of still a little little salty about the uh, bad animations I was getting early on in the game. Not getting my guys to respond and whatnot. Slot trail. Mm. Tough. 99 tough on that slot trail. Go squibbers. Squibbers. Wibbles and bits. Try to get a hit stick or something. Maybe get the ball. Maybe get another shot in zone. I mean, at this point, we're just going for fun. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Appreciate your support. Love making these gameplays. Uh, you know, I don't always get a chance to, but uh, uh, when I do, uh, I prefer gameplays. <laughs> no, I don't always get a chance to make these gameplays. I really appreciate the guy, the fact that you guys watch these as much as you do. And uh, it really gives me just a, a great blessing to, to know how much you guys care about my my gameplay. So, And that's a dive tackle, 99 dive tackle. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow for some more gameplay and tips from Madden25. Appreciate it. Be sure to retweet this video on Twitter for me. Also, be sure to like it if you enjoyed the commentary. Thanks for watching. Let me know if there's some things that I can improve on for next time. And have a great evening.